Howdy and hello, I'm Doe. Hope you're doing great. I have good news. Mox and rifles are going to get buffed. And the reasoning is probably because of a new addition. The Adjudicator. This is such a terrible gun, it has sparked thought that maybe Marksman Rifles aren't in a good spot. And it's not just me saying that out of nowhere. The devs in the Helldivers 2 Discord made this poll. What do you think about Marksman Rifles in the game? And 78% of people out of 51,000 votes, so 40k people voted, they need a rebalance because they're underpowered. And the reasoning makes sense. And I'll explain why it makes sense, at least in my own view. But first, what makes a weapon good in Helldivers 2? I'll give my interpretation of that. A weapon needs to have utility or damage or handling or some kind of niche that it fills, some kind of role that it properly fills to be a good weapon. Now you can enjoy using a weapon that isn't good. That is a completely different conversation. If you like using Adjudicator, love that for you. But here's the facts right quick. It can't even consistently one shot the smallest mob in the game. <laughs> Damage is not looking spiffy, but what about utility? We have medium armor pen. That is it. You can go through the hive guard faceplates, takes roughly 10 shots. You can also damage the tank heat sinks. I'll show that later. And there's a downside here, which is damage being low makes armor pen not that ideal most of the time. This is a great example. Unless your gun is explosive and has armor pen, chances are it's not going to feel too great when you're shooting armor because the damage itself is too low. So I'd say it's two strikes. Surely the handling makes up for all these massive pitfalls. Not even close. You pull that trigger down, you're going to shaking like it has shingles. And I've been there. Not a fan. Why does it have to violently shake my screen as if there was some altercation it had a moment ago with the gun? What is that? There's a 1v1 happening every time I pull the trigger and it's not between me and the mobs. It's between my screen being stable and the gun with the trigger being pulled. I don't get it. All they'd have to do is make it more stable and it would feel better to shoot. You have to give weapons a reason to exist. This does not really have a reason to exist. And I don't know what the fascination is with this game and crazy sides. Not to really be the person throwing shade here, but can we say something about this? Hey, it's realistic. That'd be really kicking crazy. Listen, bruh. Brud? What? Listen, bud. It's a video game. There should be some semblance of enjoyability when shooting weapons. And at the moment, most scopes are made in a way that nobody wants to scope in. Nobody wants to do this, even though no, they want to do this. But because of how the scopes are in the game currently, they don't. I wasn't aiming for his face. I was just shooting to shoot. And I find it to be a, a pretty big problem. We have marksman weapons. with we They have red dots that are worse than the red dots my family has in real life. What is that about? And I get it, you know, we're, we're just these soldiers sent to slaughter. We're hell divers. We're replaceable. We're clones. Why would they give us good weapons in the first place? Listen, have you seen my kill count? I think I've earned it. I feel that I, I come back most of the time. I complete the mission. The clones using my bloodline should definitely get better guns than normal. Maybe not some of y'all, but me? I'll be putting in that work. Except for the missions where I fail, and I shouldn't be posting those, because now you guys have... You're like, oh, you're terrible, bro. You'd be dying on missions. I show you the real stuff. Okay? Start me. Go right, mate. I can stand up. Just stand up. When you get deep in a squat, how do you get up? <laughs> you just stand up. There's this gun, and then you have the sickle. The sickle feels amazing to fire. It's automatic, and that's a big difference. But why can't this be a little bit, like a slightly more recoiled having gun than that? considering the damage is much higher. The sickle has 55 damage, this has 80. And yet, when I shoot it, I legit get motion sickness almost. And I can't scope in, because that's even worse. <laughs> There's no winning, man. There's no winning. You see how Mark went there? You see that circle out here pulling on, a, it's putting on a dance party. I'm playing Helldivers 2, it's playing Mario Dance Party 2. I don't quite know how I'm supposed to counteract that. Because with the Scorcher, I can be deadly accurate and it takes one shot to kill it. With a shotgun, same thing. So why does a marksman rifle feel so jank to shoot like that? And you cannot just say, go ahead and lay down and hit the shot. 
lay down against what? This? And this happens a lot, too. What the? <laughs> Wait a minute. It said headshot. Headshot, one shot. Body shot, two shots. Guys, we've already covered that. I'm not saying it's an adjudicator problem, but I had to change my sight to 100 meters to hit headshots consistently on targets that were not that far away. They are not 100 meters away. And yet, I had to go this far in for the shots to seem more accurate. Versus the automatons, adjudicator does not bring much of anything to the table. Takes a while to kill these marauders, around half the magazine for body shots, and around seven headshots. But hitting those on these guys is kind of tough, at least for me. And so it's not exactly worth it. And when you try and shoot a tank on the weak part, which you can do with the armor penetration of medium variety, even roughly a full magazine does not make it flame or go on fire at all. Now, how do you buff the adjudicator? Very simple. Make it a marksman rifle. Have the shots be more precise. Reduce the recoil, the weapon sway. Just dial it in a little bit. There's no reason it should be that intense for a weapon that has the drawbacks that these weapons do. They don't have many shots per magazine, they don't have very many magazines, and the damage is not that crazy. The highest it goes is 128, I believe. That is nothing to write home about compared to other weapons. Why can't they at least have more precise aiming? They're marksman rifles, it makes the most sense to me. Increase the damage a little bit, maybe to 200 at maximum, We'll see what happens. I think at minimum, they should do 100 damage a shot. They should be able to one-shot Wilbers. That, that, should be a, that should be a baseline metric they try and meet. And aside from that, that would make it more fun to use. If it just felt fun to shoot, I wouldn't be making this video. But it feels terrible to shoot. That recoil is atrocious. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> My screen should not be shaking more using that gun than it does the, the freaking heavy machine gun. That's crazy. That is crazy to me. And if you are defending this gun, saying it's amazing, and other folks that don't like it are simply bad at the game, you are a snake oil salesman, or you do not have an opinion that anyone should be listening to ever, because you're crazy. You can like the gun. I'm not saying that you shouldn't like it. I'm not saying you shouldn't use it. I'm just saying it's not good. Simple as that. Why does it feel, actually, I was going to ask a dumb question. Why does it feel better to use a railgun than this gun? The railgun has a much bigger projectile, as far as I can tell. And if not, it still stands. But the railgun's reticle sway is far less egregious than the other marksman rifles. And I don't get that. Make them fun to shoot. That's all, that's all it comes down to. Make them fun to shoot, and you can dial in the power later. But that's... A missing factor for these marksman weapons. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Have a good day. Peace.